Hey Exiles, how we doing? We are back playing some more Saga of Survival. Guys, how we doing? Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are happy, vibrant, all that sort of good stuff. Alright, so we're going to get into it today. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've actually touched on this a few times before, but this time I'm going to sort of put some theory into practice and I want to show you guys what can be achieved by you know, uh, doing simple things. And this is all in aid of for maximizing your um, potential with uh, certain challenges. So at the moment, it is the weekend. We are on the XP challenge as we normally are. So we're going to get into that. I'm going to do a couple of little bits and pieces here to sort of try and maximize um, uh, XP potential. So with that out of the way, um, we are going to sort of have a quick peek and by choice, I haven't really done too much about this yet. So yes, I know it's pretty bad. Um, so anyway, that's going to be another story. I'm not going to go too much into that, but I just want to sort of show you that I've had very little contribution so far, but I'm going to sort of make that change in a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you here. These are my materials that I'm going to be playing with today. And this workstation is what we're going to be playing with today. So the circle of power. So I'm going to basically break it, make it, break it, make it, break it, make it, so on and so forth. And let's see what we get from it. Okay, so we're going to dive into it now. Whoops, I shouldn't have hit that, but I should have hit that. Let's just jump into here and let's go ahead and delete it. Gone. Let's go back in. Let's make it. Now, I don't know if you get the points for just making it. I think you do, or you have to actually place it. So I'm going to quickly check that out. Okay, so you already get the points. So you get 4,500 points. Take away the 80, you only get 4,500. Okay, so if I go ahead and do that again, so let's go ahead and delete that because that has to be deleted, unfortunately. You have to place it, then delete it, which is a bit of a pain, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and make it again. Okay, and let's go ahead and place it once more. And also delete it. So I believe this is what a lot of the top tier guys do. It does make life a little bit easier now that the clan system is upwards of 50 clan members availability which is good for a lot of you guys because it's going to make your lives a lot easier in achieving um, a better uh, standing so you guys can get, you know, better equipment. But we're just going to go ahead and do this a couple more times and we'll see what we get out of it by the end of it. I'm expecting just under 15,000 will be the go for this one. So once more. And let's go ahead and delete this. And why have I focused on the circle of power? Well, pretty simple, really. At the moment, a lot of people are not into PvP and for obvious reasons. And it's those obvious reasons that make this more of the viable option to sort of go down uh, this sort of pathway. The biggest um, roadblock that people will find is the water barrels, okay? If you guys can get a healthy amount of water barrels, you guys are going to have enough um, capacity to craft uh, the circle of power over and over again. <clears throat> yes, I did actually upgrade the level once, but I'm not too worried about what I've lost here, um, especially for the purpose of the video, but as also at the same time, all these items here are easily obtainable. So I've got no problems in um, using this over and over again for as long as I need to. So what did that do to our um, XP? So we are, there we go. So 22,500. And I did that how many times over? I did that five times over guys, five times over. So. You do that 10 times over, you're going to get to 50,000 in no time. You guys do that 20 times over, you're going to hit your 100,000. Did I did I say that correctly? Yes, I did. Yes. Sorry. I had to think there for two seconds. So, so if you do that 20 times over, that's 50K. Okay. 
50K. Basically, if you do that 40 times over, there's your 100. So yes, it does sound a lot for you guys to sort of do. And don't get me wrong. I mean, a lot of these things take time to craft and things like that. But you guys have a week to get most of the materials sorted and organized, I guess. And at least this way, this will give you a lot of um, opportunity for not only yourselves to do this, but you want to get your clan on board to do this, most importantly. So this is the reason why I sort of wanted to go down this pathway and show you the easiest way that I feel that you guys can get from zero to a mil in a short amount of time. So if you want to do the math yourselves, how many clan members do you have? Are you guys a leader? Um, of your clan you guys want to maybe want to work this out or maybe you guys are a, a very active player within your respective clan and you guys are struggling and you guys are trying to help each other to get yourselves to the next level this is a good way of doing it this is in fact an excellent way of doing it if you guys have got the resources and supplies um, which now I've got everything that's all empty I've got resources don't get me wrong so I'm pretty fine with everything that I have here I could go again if I really wanted to um, so actually I'm going to take that with me and I've got a lot of stone at the moment that I can recraft into blocks and I've got my other um, stones as uh, sorry stone uh, blocks over here as well so I'm just going to take all that back whoops why did I do that okay and let's get rid of all of that brilliant so basically I can go again possibly up to nearly 15 times oh so yeah 15 times so 15 times i can break and build that and i can get nearly about 75,000k in points alone just by doing that so yes it is more of a grindy way of doing it i mean critical resources are just only going to be four different items so your roadblocks are going to be uh, not so much the iron because the iron's easier to come by and as is stone. Stone's only going to hurt you in a, in a, you know, in a case where you haven't been um, crafting into blocks or you forget to do it or you may do it a couple of times over and then you basically forget about it and it doesn't happen. It is what it is, but that's probably one thing that's going to sort of hurt you. The next thing is charcoal. Charcoal is one of those items where it's good when you find it but it can easily go as fast as is, is what you can find it, if not faster. So, I mean, the only way that you, you're you obviously going to get yourself um, uh, charcoal is obviously, you know, burning it in the campfire. And every stack of wood goes only into five, um, you know, bits of charcoal. So you're going to need 40 pieces of wood just to get, um, you know, that amount of charcoal in order for you guys to, you know, get that um, circle of power going and then you've got the water barrel so um, best way for me with the water barrel honestly guys I mean water barrel is hard and also easy to craft at the same time so for me I mean it involves the pine planks the leather and nails all available resources to find from time to time um, but if you guys can find those empty wa water barrels somewhere in the zone, or if you find a full water barrel, then you obviously want to grab it and you guys don't want to sort of miss out on that sort of stuff either. So that'd be my recommendation to you guys. If you guys want to try and maximize your output potential when you're, um, you know, when you're about to enter your next XP challenge, you know, so hopefully that's helped you in a sense. I hope I would like to think that it may have. Um, just to sort of give you a better understanding on what the potential could be if you guys sort of go down that pathway and build up your, um, you know, your inventory, uh, sorry, not your inventory, your XP amount. But it's not so much just for a single player only. So if you guys are just a, you know, a lone wolf player, um, look, it's not, obviously not going to benefit you too much. You guys aren't going to hit the heights that you should be hitting. Because if you're dragging people along, they're not going to help you out if you're not going to sort of, you know, or if they're not going to come to the party. So, yes, it does sort of take a bit of rallying. Um, and, yeah, guys, so that would be my recommendation. 
Um, you know what? I'm just going to see what I have with me. I actually don't have too much on me, which is a bit of a concern. But if I were to do this and go into here, and as you can see, I've got some items floating around here. Um, I actually got this the other day, which is quite neat. I mean, I'm not going to pull it out yet. I'm actually saving a lot of my items right now with, um, you know, with, with all what happened with the PvP situation. Um, a lot of you guys would have seen all that by now, so yeah. I'm not going to entertain that for now until I'm sort of comfortable in um, my own base, basically. Anyway, so I'm just going to head over to the woodlands anyway while I sort of have a quick little chat with you guys. But yeah, that's what I think what you guys should be doing. I think it's a really good way of doing it. Um, like I said, a couple of bottlenecks, but they're not a massive bottleneck. And for the output that you guys could be achieving, and if you guys do that by how many plays that you have in the clan, I mean, even if you guys were to set a limit, you know, everyone make sure you do 50k XP by say 20 to 30 plays, you guys want to multiply that by that amount. And, <clears throat> you know, if you quickly do the math on that, I mean, you, you guys will start to see quite quickly how easy would it be to achieve um, you know, greater heights with, um, you know, with those type of challenges. And that's probably the, the best, uh, you know, the best advice I can give you. And, you know, I should be obviously practicing what I'm, what I'm preaching as well at the same time, especially when it's to do with my own clan. But as I said, I mean, I've just had some, I've had so many other obligations that it's just hard to sort of maintain, um, the clan as much as I really wanted to in the first place. So, you know, I am going to try to make make a change into that um, and sort of des uh, you know delegate a little bit more time back into my clan in in terms of investment. Um, you know, I've been saying it for a little while now here and there, but you know, it's just something that I really should be doing um, with my guys, and hopefully, you know, that's going to happen you know soon enough. But you know, for now, yes, I mean, it is a bit of a pain. You know, and not not for me, but for the guys that stu has you know have stood by me for for the longest time. And I know some of you guys that still watch my videos, you know, would know who, who you guys are. And so you know, I do thank you guys. I really do. Um, that have stuck around. Some people that have really really gone dormant, um, if not non-existent. You know, it is what it is. People move on from the game from time to time. So. You know, and this is where you find uh, loyalty to, you know, a certain game. You know, certain people would want to play the game for X amount of time and other people, um, you know, would either stick it out for as long as they can or they just, you know, they just move on. Or they just, you know, uh, lose their passion out of it. You get some people that are really, really, really into the game and then all of a sudden they, they sort of fizzle out because... Um, you know, other commitments, like I said, or there's another game that's out there that's a lot more entertaining, and that's how it works. You know, not, you know, there are some games when you sort of look at it when they're here forever or they've been playing it forever. So, you know, a, um, a lot of them fit a certain um, application, a certain niche. Um, I could sort of, you know, emphasize, you know, games that are, you know, um, like the, the the old. MMORPGs like your, you know, like, like oh, I just had it in my, in my mind, but, um, you know, uh, I'm just trying to think now, I've, I've completely lost my train of thought, but, uh, you know, oh, sorry, wow, so like World of Warcraft, let's say, let's throw that, you know, uh, like that. Massive ARPG titles like your like your Diablo series, you know, they've got a massive player retention, um, a massive loyal fan base, and you know, like mobile games like this will never have that, unfortunately. And I, I guess that's something that would, you know, we sort of have to look at from time to time. Like, you know, we, we enjoy these games for what they are and what they're worth because they sort of they, they distract us, they give us you know, a, a sense of fulfillment, I guess, in a sense, um, or they're just there just to kill time, whatever it might be. But it's these sort of games that might rope us in and we, you know, either fall in love with it or we just, 
you know, we find other people, like-minded people within the game, you know, possibly in chat rooms and things like that. And it's because of this game that brought those people together and, you know, you, you create sort of, you know, little friendships out of it. And that's always a good thing as well. So that everything has their pros and cons for a reason. And I think that's probably a very important thing to sort of, you know, um, understand. You know, yes, there's a game where, you know, or, you know, we don't approve of like an update or if we're not happy with, you know, what, you know, say a developer has done or we don't like this certain uh, implementation. It's everything else around it has, you know, have, has made the game for what it is. You know, there, there are certain elements behind that that, you know, will sort of uh, contradict those remarks. But, you know, the, that would have to come down to a case where if something would actually go severely wrong with the game or whatever that might be. But that's how I feel about these sort of games. You know, I've been playing this for over a year now. You know, since the game's been released. So, um, you know, I've stuck by it. This is probably one of my longest serving games. You know, I was heavily into the Last Day on Earth um, game. I played that for nearly a year myself and I completely fell out of love with that. And I, I did that for my own reasonings, not because I started playing, um, you know, or started going on YouTube or anything, but more I found this game and I clicked with the game more than what I did with Last Day on Earth, I guess. But yeah, I just figured, I thought I might just, you know, take you down that little, that little discussion there. But anyway, guys, I want you to let me know what you think about the whole upgrading the EXP factor with regards to the challenge itself. Um, let me know how you guys do it. I did actually get this from uh, another um, person in the comment section a few videos ago, probably about a few weeks ago, and I sort of kept this in the back of my mind. So I do thank that person for reaching out and letting me know what they do as well. But but the way that, um, and the reason why I sort of used this person's um, uh, example is, for me, it was the most cheapest and inexpensive way to get the job done. And I think that's very important as well. So you've got to sort of look at it from cost factability and usability with everything else in between. So that's the only reason why I went back to it. Otherwise I may have, um, you know, worked out another way of doing it and, you know, to get the similar results. So I think that's very important to sort of note as well. And that's why I'm just sort of disclaiming that now, but otherwise that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go ahead and clean out the forest here and um, get some more wood because I need that charcoal. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed everything that you've seen today, hit that like button, <coughs> make sure you do. Uh, that will really help out the video. Uh, get up that recommended page. Comment down below, let me know what you think about everything. And also more importantly, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Anyway, guys, take it easy. Um, hope you guys are doing well, but I will catch you in another video.